The War of the Currents was the name given to the constant battle between Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. It started around 1885, when the partnership came to an end. Edison developed direct current, a current that runs continually in a single direction, like in a battery or a fuel cell. In the beginning, direct current, or DC, was the standard in the US. There was a problem though. DC is not easily converted to higher or lower voltages. That's when Tesla entered with a solution. All strain current, or AC, reverses direction a certain number of times per second and can be converted to different voltages relatively easily using a transformer. Edison, who was more focused on marketing and financial success, didn't want to lose the royalties he was earning from his DC patents. He began a campaign to discredit Tesla's alternating current. He spread misinformation, saying that AC was more dangerous, and going so far as to publicly electrocute stray animals, calves, horses, and even an elephant, just to prove his point. Tesla wasn't going to let this get in his way. Unlike Edison, he wasn't business-minded. He didn't need workers and assistants to do everything for him. He worked better alone, which was one of the reasons their partnership ended in the first place. Fortunately for Tesla, he didn't need Edison's help to get noticed. In 1893, the Chicago World's Fair was happening, and General Electric big to electrify the fair using Edison's direct current for $554,000, but lost to George Westinghouse, who proposed that he could light the fair with Tesla's alternate current for only $399,000. This was a huge year for Tesla. Not only did he get to light the Chicago's World's Fair, but later that year, after the Niagara Falls Power Company awarded Westinghouse, who had licensed Tesla's polyphase AC induction motor patent, the contract to generate power from Niagara Falls. Tesla then designed one of the first AC hydroelectric power plants in the United States at Niagara Falls. Many people doubted that the falls would be able to power all of Buffalo, New York, but Tesla knew it could power not only Buffalo, but all of the eastern United States. On November 16th, 1896, Buffalo was lit up by the alternating currents from the falls. This feat was widely publicized throughout the world, and by this time, General Electric had decided to jump on the AC train too. With Tesla's inventions being the backbone of modern power and communication systems, he still faded into anonymity later in the 20th century. And despite his many inventions and patents, he died an eccentric and destitute man in 1943. The war of currents may never actually be over, but with our electricity today being predominantly powered by AC, and computers, LEDs, and power cells running on DC, they're able to work parallel to each other as equals.